Nick Williams. Since it's the end of the year, I kind of wanted to do a lighter video this time. In the new year, there are going to be a ton of cool new development platforms that are going to be competing for your attention. So in this list, I will be showing you guys the top four 2016 development platforms that I'm excited for. Number one, Artaboy. Designed by Kevin Bates, the name Artaboy makes the platform pretty obvious. The Artaboy is a Game Boy-like package based on the Arduino platform. Of course, open source gaming platforms by no means is a unique idea. However, what makes Kevin Bates' design so successful is basing it off of the almost annoyingly popular Arduino platform. So he jumps into an already ubiquitous community. Combine this platform with a fun design like the charming small form factor, wide array of colors, and a relatively low $40 price tag, it's not a surprise that the Kickstarter raised almost half a million dollars. The Artaboy uses the ATmega 32U4 microcontroller and a 180 milliamp hour LiPo battery. There are already plenty of games hosted by the community so you can help develop existing games or create your own. A cool little add-on to the platform is the built-in USB HID profile, so you could program the Artaboy to be a keyboard, mouse, or game controller. Currently, developer kit versions are in the field for people to develop with. However, it seems like the boards are all out of stock, while the rest of us will just have to wait until the real Artiboy is available. You can currently pre-order the Artiboy, which is estimated to ship out in Spring 2016. Number 2, the Intel Up. One of the latest movements in embedded systems is the growing number of computer-in-your-pocket products entering the market. We have already recently seen products like the Intel Edison and the PC Duino hit the market, with long-term players like the BeagleBone and the Raspberry Pi. So it's no surprise that we'll be enjoying another competitor entering this domain, the Intel Up. But with a dedicated community to platforms like the Raspberry Pi, it'll be a very difficult market to break into. However, the Intel Up's approach to the competition is by using sheer power and by flexing its muscles. Here on this platform, we will be treated to the Intel Atom X5 Z8 350 which isn't even released until the first quarter of 2016. This processor is boasting a 64-bit quad-core with an internal GPU and a gigabyte of DDR3 memory. We're starting to see some platforms break away from the classic ARM architecture, and the Intel Up is not an exception to this. So starting in February 2016, hopefully we'll start seeing some projects with the Intel Up. Number 3, Dubot. Yeah, so I know the robotic arm is such a painful cliché, but the difference with the Dubot is the awesome SDK and the high quality of the arm. Created by a development team of the same name, the Dubot is marketed as an industrial-level device available to hobbyists, which is also versatile, supporting a number of different interfaces and outputs. Depending on your applications, you can use a firmware that supports various interfaces, Arduino for open applications, Marlin for use of 3D printing, and even OpenCV for visual applications. In addition to this, the Dubot team offers some really cool attachments like lasers, brushes, food dispensers, and other things. The applications for this platform are honestly endless. With vision or gesture control, or using a PC for 3D printing applications, the Dubot unfortunately looks like it will cost about $1,000 when it's finally available, which will hopefully be very soon. Backers for this project will probably be receiving this Dubot in January of 2016. Number 4, YO Link. Of course I couldn't make this kind of video with at least one product from perhaps the biggest trend of 2015, which is the Internet of Things, or IoT. The YO Link is an embedded platform that works on a very high level to enable internet-based connectivity to the physical world with very little effort. This flagship platform created by Seed Studio completely abstracts the hardware and lower level protocols so you are only working on the application level. Seed Studio packages this device with so-called Grove modules that can be plugged in easily and configured remotely on a mobile device. Then to create your application, interface the Grove modules through an API that can be used by many programming languages, such as Python or JavaScript. Plenty of the work has been made to ensure ease of use by also making the platform friendly to if this then that scripts and Android app development. The Kickstarter will go until January 6, 2016, so there's still time to pre-order the platform. Backers should expect to get their wild link by March 2016. So how is my list? What things have I missed from the upcoming products of 2016? I hope maybe some of the stuff I mentioned gave you some ideas. After all, the best things about development platforms are the projects you create with them. I leave you with me attempting to fly my drone for the first time that I got as a Christmas present. 
Have a great new year.